HD DVD was created in a joint effort led by Toshiba to develop the successor to DVD. Blu-ray was developed by the Blu-ray Disc Association led by Sony and there's been market confusion ever since. But which one's better? A dual density Blu-ray disc is 50 gigs. Dual density HD DVD is 30 gigs. Now the numbers geeks have declared their winner, Blu-ray, but it's really not that simple. To date, Blu-ray still enjoys slightly better studio support, but most of the major studios are willing to release their movies on both HD DVD and Blu-ray. And why were the studios so eager to jump Sony's Blu-ray bandwagon? It's because Sony chose the studios over the consumer. As a hardware company and a studio, Sony's trying to play both sides of the field. Did you just call Sony buy? No, look. In 1988, Sony bought CBS Records. A year later, they buy Columbia and TriStar Pictures. Sony is now one of the largest music and film studios in the world. That's a conflict of interest you could drive a Sequoia through. Do you think the consumer's a priority to the Blu-ray Disc Association? Blu-ray only won over 20th Century Fox by promising an extra layer of DRM encryption called BD+. They weren't even going to support managed copy until HP threatened to pull the plug. Oh, and they still don't even support uh, IHD. Uh, and why should they? Do you think if uh, the Soviet Union were a disc format, they'd bother to support IHD or managed copy? Hold on a second. Let me get this straight. The company that makes the movie also wants to create the disc format. It also builds the hardware rights and extra digital rights management encryption. Why don't you just buy a house in a Sony-gated community? That's exactly what Disney's doing at Celebration Florida. Partial water change. I'm not trying to say that HD DVD has already won the format war. All I'm saying is that if Blu-ray wins, we don't realize how badly shafted the consumer's going to be. That's because there's an important principle at stake here. When Sony's a hardware company, they're a good company, great ideas. The trouble is, is when one company controls the media, controls the content, controls the hardware, whose interests are being served? Why should they bother to innovate? 